really small walkway and so what I did was I just knocked it down and just gave it a very open feel. I'm not sure if I even cook well. <laughs> I cook very well for people who are very hungry. <laughs> The other flooring technique Linda used was installing flagstone, not only out by the pool, but just inside the back door. The main reason was because I wanted to have the outside feel inside, and also when we're having parties, it's much easier to clean when people are running inside and outside of the pool. In Hawaii Kai, it's rare to have a nice large backyard like this with a pool. The swimming pool was really bad. It was basically just plaster and the paint was already peeling off. It was basically a little pond. We had a frog farm in the backyard, so <laughs> it was a mess. But we cleaned it up, put in some tiles, put in some turtles, and just made it so that it was a place where we can just jump in in the water and go for a quick swim. In fact, all around Linda's home, you'll find peaceful areas to rest. This is the master bedroom. My favorite part of the master bedroom is just like waking up in the morning and just looking outside and just having that very serene feeling of the outdoors and just the breeze that's coming in. I really like that part of it. The master bathroom was a wonderful project to do. We put travertine tiles on it to give it a very natural warm feel to it and we also installed a, a rain shower. That was, that's very nice. But Hawaii is too cool to stay cooped up indoors. And the island's amenities make the high real estate price tag, well, understandable. It's just the, the year-round weather is so wonderful all the time. You can spend a lot of it outside, a lot of exercise going on, surfing, sailing, canoe paddling, a lot of water activities. It's a nice life if you can afford it. So in Honolulu, Hawaii, for just over 800,000, you get a 1,700 square foot ranch with three bedrooms, two baths, and a backyard pool, all resting on the top of a tropical island. I'm very happy with it. Did you know that the Hawaiian alphabet has only 12 letters? Five vowels, seven consonants. You can still spell Mike, it just might be pronounced a little differently. Coming up, how an Indiana man who knows nothing about color ended up with 30 different hues in his home. People have mentioned that they wouldn't have had the guts to do it, uh, but they would love to live in a house like this. And later, a Santa Fe house with a global style. Just ahead on what you get for the money. Welcome back to what you get for the money. Our next homeowner is an avid art collector who built a modern home in Evansville, Indiana that became a masterpiece in itself. Often called River City, Evansville is tucked into a horseshoe bend in the Ohio River at the southwestern tip of Indiana. The port town was built around river trade, but is better known today for its genuine Hoosier hospitality. It's a city that's large enough to have all the nice things you'd like to have, but also small enough that you can get around well and uh, know a lot of people as well. In 2006, Evansville native Kent Hahn bucked town tradition and went modern on the river. We're right on the Ohio River. Uh, we have the downtown Evansville to the right, uh, and the lights in the, in the evening are just beautiful when they reflect off of the river. And then we have the LST-325 uh, World War II ship to the left that's docked here permanently. Juxtaposed against the backdrop of that 65-year-old ship and the more traditional homes in his neighborhood, Ken's 3,400-square-foot house makes a bold statement. But there's been no complaints so far. The people who see it have been very positive. They love the colors and the feeling it gives you when, when you walk in. Kent manufactures golf course equipment, but he has a passion for art. However, when it came time to do up the house, Kent turned to designer David Oldham to create some contemporary sizzle. I know nothing about colors, and so David uh, came in and helped me tremendously with that. I was a little skeptical when he came up with all the different colors, and we en ended up with 30 different colors in the house, but as it turns out, it, uh, it, it turned out beautifully. A lot of the colors are subtle, so it's not like there's huge color changes. 
few focal balls that most